this video is going to be a little bit different because I've had a couple of people ask me for some let's play videos and I interpret that as um, a live recording no editing so this is live and uh, I will not edit this um, what I want to do is experiment some more with the jet engines as you know in this version of the game they have um, changed them somewhat and if you've seen in some of my previous videos I've managed to get some quite considerable speeds at high altitude so I want to see how far I can take that um, so I just want to build an incredibly light jet which probably means it's going to be also incredibly hard to fly so um, we'll have to see I want to do away with everything that's not essential so let's start with fuel and I'm going to take these fuel it's rocket fuel meaning that it has oxidizer but it's considerably lighter because there's considerably less of it than even the jet fuel the um, jet fuel variety this one so I'm just going to use this one and I'm going to put as many intakes on this as I can uh, which is one isn't it which is why I've chosen this um, cockpit uh, the engine I'm going to use the ramjet simply because it's better at altitude it is slightly heavier but I think it will pay its dividend in the end so um, wings 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 we're gonna need wings uh, I could just use a canard but I, it's just going to be all over the place if I do that so I'm just gonna try and gain a little stability by using these I use the small control surfaces I'm gonna fit the big ones on okay is that it hmm I know this is not gonna fly Let's do away with all sorts of landing gear, so let's take it off vertically. I'm really worried this isn't going to fly, or more importantly, I'm not going to be able to control it. Uh, let's give it a go. I put SAS on, I haven't got any SAS, but I put it on anyway because it, it seems to make the controls more sluggish. There seems to be some sort of onboard SAS anyway. And, um, oh, it is actually flying. I am amazed. Okay, let's go. Let's see how fast we can take this. Because we haven't got much fuel. Oh, this isn't easy to fly. Okay, weird. Okay, I'm going to have to concentrate somewhat. Now, I have a theory that if you can get fast enough in Atmo, if you can reach orbital velocity in Atmo, oh, 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 then you could reach orbit with a jet plane and a jet plane this small which would be something wouldn't it so that's what I want to try and do I know it's probably impossible I'm not sure physics is on our side but we will try and get this as fast as possible if I can actually keep it straight enough for any considerable point of time oh, come on come on there we go there we go there we go so this will only fly jet engines will only fly in the thicker atmosphere up high they won't fly because um, there's not enough air for the intake and if you look up here the resources the um, intake air is what I need to look at if that drops below four or five I'm gonna stall and um, if you've got two engines that can be a problem because one will stall before the other and it will spin you out of control but with a single engine you can just sort of accelerate accelerate with um, reckless abandon because if it does backfire you can just throttle back and reignite it again so oh, look, we're getting to the edge of the top here but like I said they won't fly up high but that's only because there's not enough air so if you're traveling very fast and there's only um, very thin air then you can obviously oh this is hard to keep straight then the faster you go the more air that you can collect in your intake so even if the air is very thin it's just really about it's a measure of how fast you're going not just your altitude so technically if you could go extremely fast you could also go extremely high um, I'm gonna run out of fuel unless I get this up quicker let me go a bit higher because I've still got enough air to do it obviously the less fuel I use the lighter I'm gonna get but I'm already going at f nearly 1500 meters per second so we're not dawdling but I'm gonna run out of fuel so let's go a little bit higher it's getting quite hard to control up here so now we're getting into thin air you can see it's it's getting a lot faster again now we use, we're higher now than most jets, oh there's your first burnout so just throttle back 
open it up again and off we go we're going to run out of fuel I don't think we're going to get this to ignite again I haven't done this I reckon I could have got faster than that now that is pretty fast but let's just try that again let's try that again I want to try and get higher quicker this time but it's very hard to control this or at least I'm finding it very hard to control I do like SAS wherever I can I put SAS on everything because it's just far much more of a relaxing experience if you ask me <laughs> this is quite tricky come on easy 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 just wants to put its nose down probably not very well balanced. I could have built it far better I think. I'm just going to get it, oh, careful. I'm just going to get it as high as I can this time, as quickly as I can. And then straighten out somewhere around the middle of the um, pale blue the the um, on the atmospheric bar. It's around about the middle of that pale blue. As long as I'm going quick enough I can keep it in the air. I think I can go a little bit higher but that's where I need to really be when I'm accelerating oh shit excuse my French but it's very hard to um, keep this straight there you go if I can keep it at 45 degrees and I can climb there you go first burnout that's surprising and there's our intake going so we're going too high too much of an angle I need to straighten up before I end up in space because oh dear I think I'm just going to end up in space I'm not very good at this it's okay we'll save our fuel wait for us to come down to a more reasonable altitude and we'll try again see look that's even ignited nearly in a vacuum I mean I've got no thrust but it is going let's try and give it a bit of thrust no Um, that's quite high. Let me see if I can uh, fast forward a bit. Should we get back down again? We're in orbit now, but we're not orbital velocity, so we're not orbiting. So, I mean, you can get into space with a jet engine. We've established that, but this is not what I want to do. We need to go at about 2,300 meters per second. That's the sort of thing we need to be heading for here. We're not even close. So I'm just waiting for this to get lower again. Hopefully the physics engine won't destroy it because you have to be careful using this um, time ac acceleration in Atmo because it can go horribly wrong. Okay now we're coming down we're going to need to open up again and try and straighten ourselves up oh I can see this is not wanting to fly now come on easy 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 <laughs> that doesn't look good does it come on come on Why are you doing that? You crazy shit. That isn't me, I can assure you. Here we go. Is that settling? And we're settled. Let's try and get some more height. Let's try and do this a little bit more carefully this time. And watch that angle. Yeah, I said a little bit more carefully. Okay, there we go. Now we've got some. Now we need to straighten up a little bit. Because if we go too high, we can't use these engines at all. So it's about finding that threshold between right as high as we can go, but thin enough to get the speeds we need. Because obviously when the air is thicker, we can't get these sort of speeds we need. We need to be just on the edge of space to pull this off. So we're back at the speed of where we were before. I know I can do faster than this. Come on. If only I could keep it straight. Go on, girl. Go on, girl. So now, if I can just keep this on the horizon now, we're instead.
We're still gaining speed, but we're running out of fuel now. I mean, 1,500 meters per second isn't messing about really, that is quite fast, but I wanted to go faster. I know I can go faster, I'm just controlling this incredibly badly. Come on girl, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Come on. There you go, 1,600 meters per second. Now that is fast, that is fast. It's not enough to get into space, I mean into orbit. But it's not bad at the same time. We run out of fuel now anyway. So, that wasn't a conclusive experiment, but we have proved that we can go extremely fast with a jet engine if you can keep it light enough and you've got enough intakes. Um, the intake we've used on the front of here is, is, is much better than the intakes you can add manually or the Narsil which has the intake on. It's, it's much more effective than that. It's, if you really want to make a fast high flying jet you're going to need to have these big intakes on the front, these ramjet in intakes and you'll need the ramjet as well because um, the other jet doesn't perform well at, at these heights. So there you have it. Um, if you like this sort of thing then tell me but it sort of lacks polish that I'm used to and I haven't really achieved anything. So yeah tell me what you think and for the meantime I'll try and get this faster, more efficient and see if I can pull this off. Bye for now. Okay I couldn't resist giving this another quick try. Um, I redesigned it slightly. I used a proper fuel tank. Not because I needed the fuel, I had to burn most of it off to get here anyway. But um, because it sort of balanced it better and I've used some canards um, instead of those wings and control surfaces I was using. But anyway look at these speeds. Sorry it's dark. I've nearly flown around the whole planet but um, look at these speeds, look at these speeds. So my challenge is to you, can you beat these speeds? It's not nearly enough to be in orbit, um, well another 500 meters a second and it would be in orbit but yeah my challenge is laid down if you could beat these speeds because I'd like to think this is possible, I'd like to think this is actually possible so yeah see if you can come up with something.